Want to build muscle but don't know where to start? Let's kick things off with a solid foundation, working out three to six times a week. Building muscle isn't just about hoisting hefty weights, it's about consistency, regularity, and a well-rounded approach. Regular workouts are the bedrock of muscle growth and strength improvement. It's like a conversation between your muscles and your brain. When you work out, you're telling your body, hey, we need more strength here. And your body responds by building up muscle tissue. But remember, it's not just about the quantity of workouts, but the quality too. You can't just do the same exercises every day and expect your muscles to grow. Variety is crucial. Why? Because different exercises target different muscle groups. One day you might focus on your upper body, working those biceps and triceps. The next day you could switch to your lower body, challenging your quadriceps and hamstrings. This alternating pattern ensures all muscle groups get their share of the workout spotlight. Now you might be thinking, why three to six times a week? Why not every day? Here's the thing. Muscles need time to recover. When you work out, you're essentially creating small tears in your muscle fibers. These tears are good, they're what stimulate muscle growth, but to grow, they need time to repair. That's where rest days come in. Overtraining can lead to injuries and muscle loss, which is the exact opposite of what we want. So, to sum it up, work out regularly, vary your exercises to target different muscle groups, and give your body time to rest and recover. It's not about breaking records every session. It's about steady, consistent progress. And remember, Rome wasn't built in a day, and neither will your body be. It takes time to build muscle, and that's okay. The journey might be long, but it's worth it. Remember, consistency is key. It's not about how much you can lift in one session, it's about the progress you make over time. Now, working out is just one piece of the puzzle. Another crucial part, good, quality sleep. Imagine your body as a well-oiled machine. You fuel it with the right nutrients, work it out to keep the engine running. But what happens when it's time to recharge? That's where sleep comes in. You see, during sleep, your body goes into repair mode. It's a time when the magic of muscle recovery and growth happens. Picture this. Every time you work up a sweat at the gym, you're essentially creating microscopic tears in your muscles. Sounds scary, doesn't it? But don't worry, it's a good kind of damage. It's what prompts your body to repair and build stronger muscles. However, this repair and build process doesn't happen while you're lifting weights or doing squats. It happens while you're sleeping. Yes, you heard right. While you're off in dreamland, your body is hard at work, repairing, rebuilding, and growing those muscles. Now what happens when you skimp on sleep? Well, the answer isn't pretty. Lack of sleep can seriously hinder your workout performance and muscle growth. When you're sleep deprived, your body's ability to repair and grow muscles is compromised. Remember, your body is like a machine. If it doesn't get enough time to recharge, it won't function at its best. You wouldn't expect your smartphone to work flawlessly if you're constantly running it on low battery, would you? The same applies to your body. So how much sleep should you be getting? The magic number is eight. Eight hours of sleep per night is what you should aim for. This gives your body ample time to go through the necessary stages of sleep for optimal muscle recovery and growth. Now I know what you're thinking. Eight hours might seem like a lot, especially if you're used to running on less, but trust me, your body will thank you. You'll notice a difference in your energy levels, workout performance, and muscle growth. Good sleep isn't a luxury, it's a necessity. Make sure you're clocking those eight hours every night. You're working hard in the gym and getting plenty of sleep. Now let's talk about fuel for your muscles, your diet. Our bodies are complex machines running on various forms of energy, but when it comes to building muscle, there's one type of fuel that reigns supreme, macronutrients. You might know them better as carbs, proteins, and fats. This trio forms the foundation of any muscle building diet, but it's not enough to just know they're important. You need to understand why. Let's start with proteins. They're the building blocks of muscle tissue. After a grueling workout, your muscles need protein to repair and grow. A lack of protein can lead to muscle breakdown, sabotaging all your hard work in the gym. Next, carbohydrates. They're your body's go-to source of energy. Without enough carbs, your body will start breaking down muscle tissue for fuel. Not exactly what we want, right? And then there are fats. They might have a bad reputation, but healthy fats are essential for hormone production, including testosterone, which plays a key role in muscle growth. Now knowing all this, it's clear that we need a balanced diet to build muscle. But how do we make sure we're getting the right stuff? The answer is tracking. By keeping an eye on your calories and macros, you can ensure you're fueling your body with exactly what it needs, when it needs it. Think of it as a roadmap. 
You wouldn't embark on a cross-country trip without a plan, so why would you embark on a muscle-building journey without one? By tracking your intake, you can see where you're going and adjust your course as needed. And remember, it's not just about the numbers. Quality matters too. Whole foods, lean proteins, complex carbs, and healthy fats should be the staples of your diet. So let's recap. Building muscle is about more than just lifting weights. It's about giving your body the right fuel, in the right amounts, at the right times. Remember, food is fuel. Make sure you're fueling your body with the right stuff. All right, now that we've covered workouts, sleep, and diet, let's move on to something often overlooked. Stretching. Stretching, my friends, is not just an afterthought. It's not just some leisurely activity you do while watching your favorite show. It's an integral part of your muscle-building journey. Why, you might ask? Well, let me enlighten you. First off, stretching aids in muscle recovery. After a grueling workout, your muscles are like a tightly wound spring, and stretching helps to release that tension. It increases blood flow, delivering much-needed nutrients to your worked muscles, helping them repair and grow stronger. Next, stretching can actually enhance your flexibility. A more flexible muscle is a stronger, more resilient muscle. It's less prone to injuries and can handle more intense workouts. Flexibility is not just about touching your toes, it's about maximizing your muscle's potential. But it doesn't stop there. Stretching can also help reduce the risk of injury. It prepares your muscles for the stress of exercise, making them less likely to tear or strain. So before you dive into those heavy lifts, don't forget to limber up. Incorporating stretching into your routine is not a suggestion, it's a necessity. It's as important as your reps and sets. It's as essential as your protein shakes and rest days. So next time you're at the gym, don't just walk past the mat area, spend some time there, stretch those muscles, feel the tension release, and watch your muscle building journey reach new heights. Stretching is not just for flexibility, it's a crucial part of muscle building. Don't skip it. We've covered a lot of ground today, but there's one last piece of advice I want to share. Stay consistent and disciplined. You see, consistency is the secret sauce to achieving any goal, including building muscle. It's the fuel that keeps the fire of progress burning. Discipline, on the other hand, is the iron will that gets you out of bed on cold mornings when the comfort of your blanket is so tempting. It's the voice in your head that says, one more rep, when your muscles are screaming for you to stop. When it comes to muscle building, it's not enough to just work out hard for a few weeks and then lose steam. No, you've got to stick to your workout routine day in and day out. You've got to respect your sleep schedule, giving your body the rest it needs to recover and grow. You've got to keep track of your calories and macros, fueling your body with the right nutrients. And yes, it's going to be tough. There will be days when your motivation dips, when your body aches, when the pizza looks way more tempting than the protein shake. But that's where discipline comes in. It's the sturdy bridge that carries you over the river of temptation and towards your goals. Remember, building muscle is a marathon, not a sprint. Stay consistent, stay disciplined, and you'll see the results you're after.